the screen is uh it kind of like fades in yeah because it's color splash color. so it gains color to say hey we're ready i don't like how the loading screen doesn't have a loading indicator other than that yeah it would be it nice hangs, if the color was more gradual too so uh anytime you're ready you can hit the button and you can play some paper mario color splash just enjoying the music so uh you and you're in the pilot seat today uh-huh and we get to blame you for all the accidents that happen because this game is not forgiving it, it, it can be not forgi unforgiving. Don't worry, accident is my middle name. Actually, no. That's just how it was created. <laughs> that's just an accident. I didn't mean to say that. It was just an accident. Whoops. I mean, Oh, no. hello. It's a me. <gasps> Who's that? We may never know. She dies. <laughs> just Who's that character? Oh, that's a cool effect. All the paper stuff is pretty good. Uh, See? What was that saying about style? They took all the best parts from like Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door and the other one for the Wii U I can't think of. And they like actually have like an sticker art book star? in this year. St yeah, Sticker Star for the 3DS. Yeah, that that's where they got all the card mechanics for this game. Which apparently are the worst out of the series. Sticker Star is worse than this, yeah. But this one apparently not very well... <laughs> I got to the finer, final Bowser battle in Sticker Star, and I couldn't do it. Really? Yeah, I, I had to give up. I, I got too frustrated having to grind, like, cards. So from what I've heard about uh, this game, people bought it not because they enjoyed the uh, gameplay. They enjoyed the aesthetic. Yep. And they just want more. Yep. Because with Nintendo, yep. they will not make more of anything unless <laughs> it gets sold a lot. That's why there's not a lot of Metroid games. Metroid is the hardest Nintendo game you can get. Yeah. So, for only hardcore gamers. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, uh, mm. they made a bunch of Metroid games, but they were really bad and nobody bought them. Yeah. So they just stopped. Yeah, they made a couple. They made uh, Prime Hunters for the, uh, the 3DS. It wasn't very good. We've come to the right It's hard to control, and the really camera's kind of janky. The tiny little screen. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what the one for the 3DS that was most recent, but I think it's like Return of Samus or Samus Returns or something. Oh, yeah? But apparently it's really good, aside from one minor detail that you have to do this added mechanic every time you're in a fight, otherwise it's too long to fight. You got like a finishing move or something? or? Yeah, it's a parry mechanic. Ugh. So you have to wait for them to attack. You parry it, and then you do, like, 20 times damage. Otherwise, it takes, like, 40 shots to kill something, or... Four? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, it's the letter B. The only <laughs> clue is that it's the letter B. Okay. So, uh, welcome to Port Prisma. Um, standard Mario disclaimer... Bowser is not the enemy. Yeah, he never seems to be in these uh, RPGs. Yeah, not anymore. Oh, who would leave a crate in front of these stairs? Blah, blah, blah. So we have to break the crate? That's original. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toad. With a hammer. At least it doesn't explode. Yeah. Um, Do you want spoilers for this game, or do you just want to uh, play I'm on your own? I'm gung-ho for spoilers. Because but... I'm, what, ten hours into this Nearly this twelve. This wreck of a game, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I got stuck a couple times, for okay. like more than an hour each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll you'll be coming okay. back to this spot a lot, by the way, later on. Okay. I'm guessing I should collect a few coins here and there whenever. Actually, coins aren't too important. They're only used for the card shop. So if you... And you can collect coins from winning battles and finding them in the world. And there's a couple spots where you can just grind coins. Oh, okay. Yeah. So don't bother. No. Well, you can if you want to. <laughs> Sorry, Crete. You gave us no choice. No. Uh, you stupid. Uh, One of the things that keeps pulling me out of this game and from enjoying it to the fullest is it keeps like referencing stuff and like trying to be funny and doing oh. memes. And... Uh... and this game isn't even that old, but they're dated already. They never used to do that. No. 
Like, at most, they would reference, like, really old stuff. Or it'd be, like, in-game references to other things, like other Mario like, franchises, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe they would show a, like, like, level that's based on a certain franchise or whatever, but it's hard to tell unless you know the franchise. Yeah, Galaxy 2 is good for that, and the, uh... The, the other one after Galaxy. Um, the, the new one, Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah. yeah. Odyssey was really good for that. Well, Odyssey was meant to be played in such a way that uh, short bursts, where you just have a lot of fun, maybe you see some references, you're like, wow! Which no one did. <laughs> no, everybody just total grind. Yep. But that's okay. It's got a lot of instant gratification. <laughs> I should really play that. It seems good, but... So, so we're not going to do voices for this? Nah. We're not like, read your text or anything? Why would we do that? You you had the, the right thing right there. Oh. Yeah. Do I, do I just hold it? So you're looking for a couple switches that are hidden around here. This is one. Oh, you hold it. Yeah. So that's one. Do, 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 do. And two more. And okay. they're color-coded, by the way. I can see that. Yeah. Now. So that's already colored. Uh, hi-ya! Yeah, that's the blue one. Haha. -ha. This one gave me a little problem. I'm trying to Ooh. find this one. Let's see. I'm looking for something red. Something red. Yeah. Something red. I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Haha. -ha. Yeah. I have the foresight of knowledge to help you. Yeah. It makes it go a lot smoother. Yeah. The only RPGs of Mario that I've played is the Super Mario RPGs, like, uh... Have you played, uh... Superstar Saga. I was gonna say. It's so much fun! But they're not gonna be bringing it back because they're square characters. So, like, Malo yes. and the Wizard Dude and... Yeah. yeah, Superstar Saga for the Game Boy Advance, I think they tried to separate themselves from the earlier franchise, uh... Entries. Mm -hmm. I think they did that by removing all square characters. And they got a different developer who... I think they worked on some sort of tomato game before that. <laughs> that was also an RPG. Was it Way of the Tomato? It was something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I really like that old RPG where it's like turn-based. But you gotta press buttons to... Uh, like the old Final your... Fantasies. Yeah. Or Final Fantasy Tactics or something. Oh, Final Fantasy Tactics. <laughs> that is my jam. Come on and slam. No. The thing is, though, I get so attached to the characters that if one dies in restart. battle... Restart. Restart that. <laughs> you kind of had to with that game, didn't you? Especially on higher it, difficulties. Yeah, because you lose your skills so easy, but it takes, like, so many combats just to get one skill. Yep. Or you have to grind them out by throwing stones at each other. <laughs> I think I did that for like four hours one day because I just wanted to get everyone enough uh, AP or whatever or Ouch. JP. JP, <laughs> Japanese points. Wait, no, it's JP <laughs> in uh, Tactics Advance for the Game Boy. No. Oh. JP is job points. Oh. Or is it judge points? Because there's a judge in that game, so if you commit a crime such as using a, a legal move during that fight he'll give you a penalty you do it twice you get a penalty and you get sent to jail oh. do it anymore and you get sent to jail mid battle or something neat yeah I really enjoy those tactics games we should find a way to record one of those uh we could uh <clears throat> emulate it eh, we could have it on the virtual store you never know wink wink yeah sure yeah I played through <laughs> Tactics Advance. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah. No, I haven't. I'm still looking for a Game Boy Advance. I have one, but it's a little... Dodgy? Yeah. Kind of mushy buttons? Not quite that. It's just the screen has a little... Like a scratch on it? Yeah, the screen has a little scratch, and the connector to flip it open is a little cracked. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's an SP. Yes. Advance SP, yes. The advance is the flat one. Without yeah. Without the second screen. Yeah. The advance SP has, like, the light up 
because I'm specifically looking for a, the, the, the classic advance, like the old purple one. Because, oh, yeah. Because I have a game that requires it as a second controller. Oh, what game? For the GameCube? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. No. It might appear on the channel one day. Oh, that yeah. excites me. Yep. Oh, I gotta look. Ah, oh, I've been playing Slay the Spire, so this will be easy. Probably not, but... Yeah. There's a more advanced way to do the cards. You can just tap them with the touchscreen. I have to wait for him to oh, say his business. <laughs> it's so cute that you're trying. Yeah, they don't Boom. shut up. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, go ahead. Give uh, it a try. Don't worry about wasting cards. You get them quite frequently. There's a couple that you can just grind a certain level to get the same card over and over again. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to move this controller a little closer to my face so I can see. Wow. Just jam it in there. Ba, 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 ba. Get some duct tape and glue to your head. Yeah. Ba, ba. Duct tape it to your head with glue? No. Okay, here's where the action really heats up. Yes, hey, critical points. Yeah. Yeah. Progress. Hooray. That's Button a whole timing. lot of jumping. Sure is. Yeah. One, two, I find the jumping three, is a lot easier four. than using the mallet. Yeah? Because yeah. you have to do the uh, charge? The mallet is really strange for timing for me. Okay. I haven't figured it out, and I've been playing for almost 12 hours. Oh, I really wish I'd bought this game when I uh, got the Wii U ages ago. Huh? Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Action commands are for losers. That's true. <laughs> Too bad I don't care that I'm a loser. Big stompy boot. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Perfect. Now imagine doing one of these games, except you have to do it to the rhythm of the music. Crypt of the Necrodancer? Yeah, but that's more of a tile based. Like, you move from tile to tile. They also made a Legend of Zelda version of that, just recently. So you want, like, every fight to be a DDR sequence? Yeah, sort of. Why? I don't know. Sadistic <laughs> little frick that I am. Um, this specific spot you'll be returning to as well. The door uh, back there on the left. Darn. Yeah. Card shop? It's a museum. Every time oh. you pick up a new card, you can go there and drop it off and you get, like, unlockables. Oh. But it also burns that card. It wastes it. You can't use it anymore. So okay. if it's like a boss card, you have to like re-grind that boss to get it or do a special event to get it. Oh, so that makes the completion process a little bit uh, yeah. iffy. Yep. I'm so glad that you're okay with And her. filling out that museum counts towards your completion bonus. So there's a completion bonus? Yeah, or at least it should be. It keeps track of the percentage. Oh, so. Yeah. You'd believe that... <laughs> I don't know if it pays off yet. But yeah. I've been dropping them off every time I find a new card. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah. Wonderful news. I'm a little worried because blah, 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 looking dry. Blah, 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 blah. missing all the story. It's okay. Bah, ha, ha, dry. Good one, Toad. Whack him with a hammer. I mean, dry, please. <laughs> so you're looking for things called paint stars. Ooh. Go figure, huh? In a game called Color Splash where the mechanic is painting. Huh. Yup. There's another colorless figure. What should we do? We'll leave him. Yep, murder him. Pick up some paint. <laughs> the new Super Mario is just a fire and forget weapon. <laughs> just on a straight parallel line. It's like a Mario runner. Yeah. But with a hammer. And not just jumping. <laughs> oh, thirsty shy guy. For some reason, Mario has a sword and he's just cutting through things like a fruit ninja. Ooh. Yeah. Eh, that's almost... Uh... Super Smash. <laughs> Subspace Emissary. I kind of miss that feature. Oh, whoops. You can run out of paint, by the way. Yeah, I see that. Let's work with those battle cards. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to practice by my Jojo, our house. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's how you work on timing. As you go there. Eh. Um, you have two hammer buttons, by the way. Yes. B Regular and hammer and X. paint hammer. Wah. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So my question to you is, are you going to get all the painting spots? 
Because uh, for the most part, they're for coins. Sometimes you can get cards from them. I'm guessing in this area, if you do it, you'll get a star or something. You can get... Um, on the, the main map, there's like a percentage of completion for all like paint spots you've done. Oh. Uh, and that's it. Ah, uh, that's goofy. Yeah. You get a tiny little flag on your map. Well, at least it tells you that you're doing something. However, 10 hours into the game, I found that there's a, a creature that can like run around the world map and steal your paint back. And then you have to go back into that level and repaint stuff. Oh, that... That... Bull. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. That's just... Cheap. And when he's... When the creature spawned, he was all the way across the map for me, so I had to, like, navigate my way to it. And then, you know... Deal with all the splotches. And then, then do a little card battle to kill it. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then I had to go back in and repaint everything. Oh... Yeah. No wonder you spent 12 hours playing. Good lord. I think I got to the second castle. Huh. So I wasn't even halfway through. This is a long game. This is like a 60 hour game. Pretty a certain. lot of people complain if a game is under that. Yeah, you can. There's a, a paint star you can collect there, by the way. Eh, should I try? I think you have to. Oh, it's saving. Yeah. Good, good. So uh, we'll pick it up in the next video. Yeah, of course. Bye-bye.